All right, good afternoon everyone. This is Fitfo here. So today we're going to be going over a little bit of a unboxing and a little bit of an overview um, of a new toy I just got. So I just got the Rig Expert uh, Stick Pro. So this one's going to be the one up to 600 megahertz. So uh, should be pretty fun. You can go ahead and kind of see the box there, basically. You just have normal yellow box. Um, they've got the two-year guarantee there. And then... Uh, Pretty straightforward so we'll just go ahead and start so go ahead and lift this off and it pops off so once you get the top off there is some foam in here to help protect this from rattling around and shipment and stuff but other than that pretty much it so now we've got what we're here for so here's the rig expert stick pro that's the uh, first thing you're greeted with there it's got a little screen protector so we'll go ahead and uh, go over that a little bit later um, as you can see here a uh, little cap covering up the uh, USB-C charging port, um, which it does charge with USB-C, or you can replace inside of here, there is a, uh, I believe an 18650. So you can go ahead and go from there, pop off the top, and we have a N-type connector. So as you can see here, it is a N-type connector. Um, so that may be troubling for some guys who uh, need a PL259, however, they've thought about that. Um, the Stick Pro does come with up here, Pop that out, a type N connector to uh, SO239. So you do have that. So you can use it out of the box for most ham operators. So essentially you just pop off this top, twist it, and it's just a little rubber cap um, to help go on and help seal this off a little bit. But you can just go ahead and pop on that N connector. So now you are good to go with a SO239 connector. The actual uh, adapter does look uh, Decently high quality. Um, N type connectors naturally are water resistant, so that's pretty dope. Um, you also have a little, uh, I think this looks like a magnet of sorts. Um, for uh, obviously, with everything going on in Ukraine and everything, uh, be brave. So <laughs> if uh, you're into that type of thing, I might uh, put that on the fridge. I don't know. So going a little bit further down in here, you've got this little yellow cover. And then you're going to have a strap with it. Just kind of clips in. It's actually kind of a neat looking carabiner clip, I will say that. And then uh, just interfaces like such. You also have a braided. Um, I've seen different kind of colors around um, online. The one I got is black. I don't know if uh, that is just what they're shipping. Uh, it says Borophone on it. I don't know uh, if that means anything or if that's a Ukrainian brand or something. But uh, nonetheless, it does seem pretty sturdy. Um, just a uh, just a weaved outer sheathing on the uh, USB-C cable. And then lastly, you have your uh, destruction sheet. Looks like uh, our one, two, three guide on that side, and a cheat sheet on that side. You also do have a uh, QR code to help scan. Try and uh, learn a little bit more about it. And that's it that's in the box there. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, set most of this packaging aside, and we kind of go over the actual. Uh, Stick Pro itself. Alrighty, so going over the actual unit itself, um, pretty, uh, pretty actually neat and tidy. So just as a comparison, here's an iPhone 12 Pro Max here, um, without your Type N adapter. So you're looking at about that size right there. So you pop the lid on that, pop the cap on there, and uh, it's a little bit, a little bit longer than a iPhone. So now you guys get to see the fun part of peeling off the plastic, if my fingernails are going to be long enough. And there we go. Pretty uh, uneventful there, but nice and uh, probably the cleanest I'll ever have it with uh, fingerprints wise. Um, it seems really solid. Um, obviously you do have down here, you have the USB-C port, which um, as you can see there, so this is covered with this little rubber piece to help keep it water resistant. Um, I'm not exactly sure how well that's going to work. Um, I wish they would have done something a little bit better for uh, this type of slot here. Um, so it kind of, there's like a little notch and it's supposed to go on the lanyard strap holder. And then also kind of tuck into this port here but it is kind of goofy and I can definitely see this being as something that I will very quickly and easily lose. So that is just to be noted, I guess. 
But uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be looking at the instructions a little bit, and then uh, once I get updated on those, I'll see you guys again, we'll go over the rest of this. Alright, so I went ahead and strapped a 2 meter, 70 centimeter Abreed antenna with uh, some coax to the window there. That's coming down, and we're going to go ahead and plug it right in to test it. Alright, so first testing out, uh, turning on the device, you go ahead and hit the red square. And that'll go ahead and pop it through its loading screen. Then you get to the home page. The Rig Expert Stick Pro, you have three separate pages from this home page. So if you keep hitting the uh, red square, you get tools, which is more of your advanced features with uh, antenna analyzing. And then you get cable, which has a lot to do with your coax. That's going to mainly be, again, one of the more advanced uh, parts of this, which, uh, to be honest, is a little bit more than I know right now. So we're not going to be going over those two pages. We're going to go ahead and go over settings. Um, so you can change the different settings on here um, by holding down the uh, play button, the yellow play button. It'll adjust user settings. At one, you've just got different parameters for single, multi, and then ham SWR chart, and then the uh, free SWR chart. Um, from there, it's a little bit more advanced setting, TDR, RNX, uh, return loss, and uh, stub, quarter wave and half wave stubs, cable length and velocity factor, and uh, impedance versus frequency chart. Uh, mainly too, once you get to the last one, then it'll give you your user settings, so you can either hit return to go back to the home page, or you can hit the user settings. At that point you have your language, uh, Bluetooth, um, and then you've got your palette, which is kind of like your colors. You can use the plus or minus then to change that. Uh, you can go dark yellow, light blue, which probably doesn't show up well on the camera, light red, or light orange. So we're going to go back to the bright colors on white background. You either have yellow or dark lime. Um, I think dark lime is going to look best for the camera. So now you can use your arrows to keep going. You've got metric units, um, off timeout, which is set from the factory at five minutes. ITU regions, right now I'm in Europe, so we'll go off that. Band search, uh, normal, or you can change it to deep. So as far as I'm tracking, this is just going to give you a little bit of a buffer on each side, um, so that way you can see on either side of the band where uh, the antenna is wanting to go. Uh, calibration, we don't need to really mess with that right now. Same with uh, your impedance level, cable velocity factor, uh, vibration. So every time you hit a button, it kind of, uh, it's almost like a haptic feedback if you've ever used on the iPhone. Um, or different touch pads have it where when you hit the button it vibrates just a little bit um, So you can either have that in full medium or off. Um, so I'll just leave that on full And then factory reset and uh, clearing all of your saved slots Actually, we'll go ahead and hit the uh, red square button that should take us back to the main page um, A lot of times your red square button is pretty much going to be a uh, back button So then we have four different sectors from here on this main page. So we'll go ahead and uh, pop the antenna on and go from there. So I ended up uh, redoing this part just because you couldn't really see much and I wanted to be able to uh, reiterate in a more simpler terms. So the multi over here on the top right and the ham are essentially the same thing. Um, the only difference is multi gets rid of all of the bands that aren't applicable. So it reads through all of the bands, senses which ones have an SWR, usually about under two I believe. Um, and it'll only show you those ones from there. So as you can see, click on that one, it'll do its scan. And once it's done its scan, it's going to give you a little star rating matrix. Um, at that point, you can go through, and it only shows here 2 meter and 70 centimeter. From there, we can hit the plus or minus button, and it'll go to the actual band scope for that, uh, that frequency. And we can obviously see here, if we hit the in and out button, um, then it'll go in more depth. Hitting the in button or the hitting the negative button is going to bring the span of the actual frequency that it's showing down in and narrowed down. So we can go ahead and go narrow all the way down to five kilohertz. At that point, you can kind of see it's a very flat scan, and then we can zoom all the way out up to 100 megahertz. So that gives us a pretty broad spectrum from there. From there, we can use our left and right to kind of bounce back and forth and actually uh, tune to different points and different frequencies that we want. And then obviously to back out of that we can back out. With the single, the single is going to have no graph whatsoever. The single is essentially going to show us on a frequency that we have pre-designated, it's going to show us the SWR in live time. 
So if we go ahead and unscrew the antenna here, obviously it shows on a unlimited SWR because we have nothing on. So we can plug that back in and it goes back to the SWR reading that it was giving us before and the decibels. Now on this page, what we can do is we can go, as you can see here, we're on pages one of five. We can scroll through different pages and it'll give us different information based off of that single frequency. And then back to page one, it brings us back to this. So that's gonna be the single um, portion of that main page. We can go ahead and back out of that by hitting the red square. And then we have the free. The free is essentially a normal band scope. However, um, it's going off of the last frequency that we checked. We can hold down the yellow triangle here and that'll give us set center frequency. So now we can go through and we can hit that again. And let's say I wanna to change to just check on 28.40. So we'd go subtract that, move over 28. 0 0.40 and then hit the yellow triangle and now it's going to give us a band scope of the exact frequency that we put in this one is kind of like a free roam um, you can go to any frequency that you want it doesn't have to be in the ham radio band spectrum um, you can hold this down or like I said you can go direct to the frequency that you want by holding down the yellow triangle so that's going to mainly be the main page there um, like I said overall summary of this main page, multi and ham, essentially the same thing except multi gets rid of all of the ham bands that aren't even applicable at the current moment based off SWR. Singles just going to let you only look at the SWR and whatever other parameters you want to look at other than that. And then free is just kind of free roaming. You're not limited by any bands. You're not uh, scoped in. So I personally like the multi band quite significantly. Another cool thing with this is that you have Bluetooth. So with that, you can pull up and download the Antscope app. So once you pull up the Antscope app, it's gonna give you, basically it's gonna automatically scan for devices. All you have to do is have this turned on, and then it's gonna give you the option to connect to the Stick Pro. So you hit connect, now, boom, you're good to go. Um, you can go into the right side here, SWR chart, so we can hit start. As you can see, you can adjust the amount of points. It's scanning 300 points right now. Now nothing is happening as we can see on here, besides that the um, top has changed from the Bluetooth logo to the Bluetooth logo and BLE. So now we, we scanned the uh, chart and it'll pop up. That's gonna be for the whole uh, frequency spectrum that this device can scan. Now you can go into settings and you can change the different spans and kind of uh, do a little bit more impromptu. So if we wanted to start the frequency, at let's say 440 megahertz and end it at 450 something megahertz so we can just do that and then the center frequency is going to be 44.59 we can change the amount of points that we're using to uh, how many basically how long it's going to take but how many times it's scanning the spectrum hit done and then we just hit start again and it'll go through its thing now that it's done obviously scanning, so that's gonna be on the 440 megahertz band. We can go ahead and we can scroll through here and it'll give us all of our different information. Um, we can see, so 1.06 up to about 1.5 at 450 megahertz and it keeps going up as you can see there. So another one we can do with that is we can come over here and we can hit the Smith chart. So that'll give us the capacitance and reactance of it and you can change where the marker is at right on here and obviously as you can see there it's right at about uh, right about in the middle of the chart so it's quite simple um, a lot of it is just having it separately on your phone and I really like having the bigger screen that I can physically see um, I can also kind of just come out a little bit and uh, make the span bigger on here boom done now all I have to do is hit start do a scan so now that we've done a little bit wider scan you can also do screenshots and then from there you can export it to a S1P which will save it to your files and then you can go from there. So one thing to note too, if you're not touching the uh, Rig Expert and hitting different buttons as we just saw there, um, it'll basically time out on the Rig Expert. So now you just gotta turn it back on, hit that, welcome, and then go back through your connections. So obviously it pops right up, go ahead and connect it. Go into SWR chart and we can go ahead and start the scan. Could do a quick 100 point scan. 
Um, even if it is in the middle of a scan, apparently, and you're doing interaction on the phone, it will still time out on the Rig Expert stick. And that pretty much wraps it up for the overview, at least, uh, on how to get started with this. Um, it's not too complex, but there are certain things to remember. I really like that multifunction. Um, I used this out in the field the other day, and uh, that was really handy. I'm a huge fan of this, so it's definitely going to be replacing the Nano VNA that I've been using. Um, this is great, but just incredibly, especially for field operations, this is incredibly complex. Um, and it's not the best and most robust. I definitely would be afraid that this would get water into it and pretty much be kaput. So I'm definitely thinking for the field, I don't want the screen getting damaged. Um, when out in the field, this I think I can go a little bit more in-depth and it has a bigger screen. This kind of gives me more flexibility. If I want the bigger screen, I can just use my phone. If I want just simplicity, all I need is this. I don't need to worry about damaging a screen or getting water inside of this. Um, this being water resistant seems to be a lot better with that. So that pretty much sums up this and that's just going to be a quick overview, unboxing, and kind of a beginner's guide to uh, using the Rig Expert Stick Pro. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe. This is FitFo. See ya.